You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. Welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. I'm glad that you've joined me today. One item before we get into my the meat of what I'm going to say today, and that is for those of you who have prepared your tax returns and who have e-filed or mailed them in, and if you're expecting to get your tax refunds within eight days, it's not going to happen. IRS has come out and said that 20 days is going to be the norm this tax season. So don't call your tax preparers and say in demand to know where your tax refunds are because it's going to take a little bit more time. They're going to make sure that you are who you are and the uh, items that you have applied for apply to you. So it's going to take just a little bit more time. So expect 20 days or maybe even a little bit longer because they may come back with questions. So I was thinking over the weekend about my business and the businesses that I have started. You know, it was Super Bowl weekend. It was a great weekend. So many different things happened. It was a great game. And we congratulate the winners. But I was thinking about all the various things that I have gone through in having my own business. And I came across this really good article. And it was written in, uh, what magazine was it written in? I can't remember what it was written in. Oh, Franchise 500. Franchise 500. Well, Entrepreneur of Franchise 500. And it was about an individual, or written by an individual, who started his business and all the things that he has learned from his business. Now, I've been doing business since 1984. And it's been a long process because I've had all kinds of businesses that I have started. Real estate companies, call centers in Asia, nursing review schools, healthcare companies, media companies. I have done it all. <clears throat> but there are a lot of things that I've learned through that process. And as I read his list of 29 that he's learned, a lot of these things apply to me. And they probably may apply to you if you are running your business. So he came up with with 29 things that he learned from building his company. So let's go through them because I think a lot of them will apply to you or you can learn from them. Number one, love your product and your team to the core of your heart. Be incredibly passionate about both. If you are in a transactional relationship with any of them, it will not work. All of my transactional relationships with people failed. Number two, work with people you like to be around. There's no sense in going at war with people you don't like. I'm going to add one more thing on to that from my personal experience. You have to be working with people who you like and admire, but they also have to bring value to your business. They have to Bring something to your business that is going to grow your business. It's not just that you like them, but they have to add value to your company. Number three, choose your battles carefully. To win the war, you need to pick your battles. If you fight each of them, you lose. Don't just lose away on every small issue. One idiot on the road or one competitor who copied you. And I, I agree with that because all of us in our business lives, we have these battles. Some of them we can just ignore because they're going to go away. But some of them we, we have to address head on. But we have to choose the battles that we feel that are most important at this at that time. 
Number four, don't think about everything that goes wrong. Preserve your worries for when you really need to care about a situation. Number five, be yourself. Speak your mind and be curious. Number six, only way to win against jerks is by ignoring them. Number seven, hard work beats talent every time. Every time, again and again. Find yourself a mentor. You will grow fast and make less mistakes. A mentor should be someone you admire and want to be with. Number nine, spend time with people who are smarter than you at certain things. Number ten, be willing to fight like hell each day. Life is hard, so are you. Number eleven, invest in your physical well-being. Without, I mean, work out and eat right. Keep your body in shape. If you want, the additional bonus of doing this will be your mind getting better. Remember, every day you have to fight like hell. Ask the question, "Are you well prepared?" Number twelve. You don't need to be lucky; you just need to be willing to work your ass off. Number thirteen. Say no to most things in life. He said no to endless parties, Game of Thrones, movies, get-togethers, etc. He had a lot on his priorities clearly defined. Number fourteen: Be blunt. On face, it's hard, but it's the best thing to do. I'm telling you that is probably the best advice. Because you are going to come across clients or individuals who are boneheads. I have dealt with a lot of boneheads, and the only way you deal with boneheads is by being blunt. When you're blunt, you tell the truth. You're honest. You're trying to give them good direction. Be blunt. <clears throat> you will accomplish better things with that individual. Number fifteen: Don't care about what people think about you. Most people think more and do less. Number sixteen: Consistency is the shortest way to success. I believe in that a hundred percent. Number seventeen: It's okay to have larger, larger than life goals. It's okay to also have no goals and just enjoy every bit of life. Number eighteen: Social media is a well-crafted trailer of a flop movie everyone is going through in real life. Don't get carried away. Your life is great. Number nineteen: Smile, laugh, wear what you like, get ridiculously weird haircuts and tattoos. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> whatever I repeat, whatever makes you happy, do that. Number twenty. Buy things that you want to. Travel where you want to. Save and plan for them. Do not go into debt. Number twenty-one: Treat failures as data points. Number twenty-two: Make mistakes. Make more and more, but never the same ones. Learning from someone else's is a myth. I don't think that's completely true because I have learned a lot from reading and studying people who have failed. And what went wrong? Number twenty-three. Don't grow up. It's a trap. Be foolish. Be ignorant. Be notorious. Be curious. Number twenty-four. Have fun. Every single day, biggest of goals can be achieved while having fun. Number twenty-five. Too much information is noise. It's okay to not know many things. It's okay to forget most. Number twenty-six. No regrets. You made the best choice at that time. You only get wiser with time. Number twenty-seven. You are never as right as you think you are. It's again okay to be proved wrong and to take the next call, believing you are right. Number twenty-eight. You don't learn to jump by following rules. You learn by. Falling over again and again. Higher jumps lead to bigger falls. It's okay to get hurt, to bleed, to be bruised. Some things are worth it. The last one is number twenty-nine. Love yourself to the core. 
There is no love more sincere than loving yourself. These twenty-nine things is really pretty much on point, spot on, as they would say. There are times where you're gonna fall, and the, but you have to pick yourself right back up, and you gotta get going and do something different. It's okay to fall. That's how you learn. But you have to be able to take all these twenty-nine things. And try to remember them from day to day, because you have got to be blunt. You have got to jump. You have got to learn from the very best, and you've got to surround yourself with the very best, and enjoy what you do. And choose the things that you are so good at. The way I have built my firm is by taking on projects that no one else wanted to take on. I've told you that many times in my podcast, and it's by word of mouth that people have heard. Oh, I heard that he could do this, so I will hire him. And that's how it. That's how it works. That's how life is. Try to find that one thing that you're so good at, and focus on it, and keep doing it. So I hope that has helped you a lot. When I was reading, I thought, you know what? I've gone through this. I've gone through that, and you know what? He's right on target because I have gone through it, and so will you. You will go through many of those things also. So once again. Get out there and do it. Try to be the best entrepreneur you can and learn by your experiences. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. I will talk with you soon. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website. At www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of business and taxes on WBT. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services.